Mundabidi Cycle with Inspiration Tours. Albany to Warpole over five days. We were picked up in P central Perth by Inspiration Tours and the special four-wheel drive bus. It was a long drive to Albany, around five hours. Right. We were able to start the ride in early afternoon after driving just out of Albany towards the, the local wind farms. Our group was made up of our friends Jenna and Rob from Sydney, John from Bunbury, Bruce and Heather from South East Queensland, Dennis and Lisa from South East like Queensland and myself better. from South East Queensland. We also had a lady, Emily, joining us from Sydney, who we were meeting for the first time. We decided we'd stop here, we've gone the wrong way, Ken. Is there a snake out there? That's why we stop. That's why we stop because we're waiting for him to get off the ground. And I have to stop. This is a view. Bruce just skidded a few times. Go very slow. Oh, that's a big one. Good break for us, guys. Go slow. Even the back wheel kicks out down there. We had three guides, Sam, Isla and Wanda. After bike fitting, we were on our way up towards the wind, wind towers by the gravel access road. The first day was to be about 25 k through mixed track, including a steep, narrow, winding single track from the top of the range down. As per usual, we're cycling country roads and tracks and with numerous stops, an average speed will be quite low. At the end of, the, of today, we met the bus and were taken to Emu Point Motel for a good dinner at the Albany Indian Restaurant. <laughs> Day two, Torbay to Denmark. We headed back to into Albany by the bus to have a look around the town in the daylight and visit the official starting point for the trail. <laughs> Did you enjoy yesterday's ride, Greg? Uh, yesterday, yeah. Um, Into the sun? In a... <laughs> There's some hills there. Yeah, but you had a motor. I had a motor. We probably didn't start here as the roads would have been busy and when we arrived yesterday, lots of road construction going on. Then we drove to Torbay Hall to start our 52 kilometre ride through a variety of the country. We started on a flat track, then into I'm nice fine gravel back roads. Okay. Keep, I just, I just photographed the leader telling us about the road so that at the end of the day we'll be able to make our judgement on whether she's telling the truth or not. Leaders never tell the truth. I never tell the truth, leaders. Have a look at this. Oh. We crossed the lower Denmark Road onto Tennessee Road and headed down a North Pitchman Road, turning right into Francis Road and towards Lower Denmark and lunch at Gung's Siding Community Hall. Pretty spot. After lunch, we did some old rail trail riding into Denmark. We stayed at the Kurabat Motel in Denmark, right next to the Beard Hotel, the Denmark Tavern, with its good standard meals. Day three, we were staying three nights at this motel, and 
being transported by bus to the start and from the finish points. Today we were following Sam out of Denmark on the cycleway beside the relatively busy local road down to Ocean Beach. After Ocean Beach, we turned right up the hills to the Denmark Community Wind Farm and rode a soiled bike path to Lights Beach for a morning break and overlooked the beautiful coastline that we had glimpsed ah, as we rode the, the sealed section of the pathway. Wowee, eh? Wowee. After this we had some sealed quiet roads and our first rain. The rain continued most of the afternoon as we rode inland to Scottsdale Road and met up with the bus at Duggett's Mill Wines and bus back into Denmark. I am. Why are you there? I'm getting a photograph of all the people. Oh, there you are. I'll get a photo of you. <laughs> there she is, our guide. Day four, Scottsdale Road oh, yeah, to Tornalops Road, 46 k's. We begin the day cycling after returning to our finishing point of yesterday on Scottsdale Road. We rode through some beautiful countryside, then we headed on a narrow winding trail uphill through the state forest. Yeah, you want to repeat all that? That's okay. He put his uh, wrong back. Yeah, okay, go on then. Up you guys go. Ready? Group photo. I'll do a good photo here. Just be round and 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 round. That's a good photo. Ah, I missed Emily. We got that's it. Good photo done. Done and dusted. Yeah. I'm going to go to be in this, so I set it up at the. Yeah. Well, that's what I tried to get behind with you too then, so yeah. at least you're in the, yeah. the video. Here's the poser, <laughs> Greg Packer. <laughs> That'll be the opening soon. Okay. You okay? Yep, I'm filming you. Alright.
enjoying this, Greg? Yeah, I love it. Love it. I just. Well, first, they don't mention bike, but I might wait for the next time. That's yeah, the best day ride so far. Yeah. Oh, well. Did you just say that because I didn't do it? Yeah. All right. Day five. Middle road to a gully road, about 32 k's. <clears throat> We drove out 25k so as not to have to ride the 25 kilometres of difficult sand and gravel. Most of the day was in National Park and through Tingle Forest following the river. There are some long uphills and downhill sections, basically good forest access roads. We finished about 10 kilometres short of Walpool. Walpool. This track had a few challenging sections. We continued to ride mainly narrow bike trails until we got to the parking area near the Valley of the Giants treetop walk. I'm gonna hit the tree too. <laughs> oh no. Do that again. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing the downhill again. Yeah. <laughs> not the, not the, no, not the other one. No. No. We had our lunch there, a great coffee at the caravan, and rode downhill to meet our bus at Norna Loops Road. Oh, he's the photographer. It's a farm there, isn't there? We finished about 10 kilometres short of Walpole. We stayed in the nice treetop walk motel.